Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Philip Lee Wilson was sentenced today to life without parole. He was convicted of the killing and rape of 20-year-old Robin Brooks. The Sacramento County woman was found dead nearly 40 years ago. Wilson was arrested in 2020 thanks to DNA evidence. An 18-year-old man was shot in the back this morning in the parking lot of the Employment Development Department. Police say a security guard heard gunfire and found the man on the ground. His injuries are non-life-threatening and witnesses saw two men leave the scene in a 2000 Chevy Impala. Police in Stockton looking for the person involved in a shooting near the Applebee's on March Lane last night. Officers say bullets entered through the window of the restaurant with workers and guests still inside. Thankfully, no one was hurt. In Washington, D.C., three men and a young girl were shot near student housing at the University of the District of Columbia. Police warned people in the area to shelter in place because of an active threat. The U.S. Secret Service helped police in the search and investigation. A Sacramento couple had their home broken into in broad daylight. The suspect rang the doorbell, waited for a few minutes, then broke into the home through the back door, they say. The homeowners say the suspect stole around $1,000 worth of items in minutes and took off before police arrived. Nine men were arrested in Sacramento on suspicion of poaching white sturgeon from Sacramento Valley Waterways. The men face multiple charges, including the intention to sell fish and fish products on the illegal market. Several wildfires burning across the southwest. The Tunnel Fire in Arizona already scorched 30 homes. A fire in New Mexico burned more than 21,000 acres. And in Colorado, the Monte Vista Fire is leaving its mark, with families returning to ruins. A group of truckers shut down multiple lanes of Interstate 5 in Southern California this morning to protest high gas prices. The big rig truckers started their demonstration in Glendale right during the morning rush hour. Some even walked out onto the freeway holding signs. Best Buy is recalling nearly 800,000 Insignia air fryers after Consumer Product Safety Commission received dozens of reports of the air fryers catching fire, burning, or even melting. The reports include property damage damage and injuries. And a California man was arrested for allegedly threatening to bomb the Merriam-Webster office and kill employees over the definition of women in the dictionary. Police say Jeremy Hansen of Rosemore sent threatening messages through the business's website. Hansen allegedly sent related threats to companies and individuals, including Hasbro and Lando Lake. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.